Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another World's Finest and in this review I'll be talking about Grayson Annual number 2. Mike's going to be showing you guys some artwork now and that's the first thing I want to talk about yet again. I really like the artwork in this book actually and uh, ever since the last issue of Grayson I have been um, brought back to the series and that's because they're really trying to bring the old Nightwing back into Grayson and um, the, the issue opens up when Dick was Robin and he was with Batman and him and Batman were fighting Blockbuster and Superman actually helped assist them in taking Blockbuster down. Fast forward to the future now, um, it's the part right after the last issue of Grayson. Grayson said his goodbyes, he's about to go back on duty with Spiral, he's going to leave Gotham and that's when he decides to take one last swing around and he's wearing the Spiral thing so his face is distorted. He jumps off the building. Superman thinks he's a guy committing suicide. And remember, nobody knows Dick Grayson's alive. They're slowly finding this out, uh, little bits at a time. And um, Superman tries to save Dick. Dick breaks away from him and lands on his own. And he takes the spiral thing out of his eye. And Bruce is ecstatic. Uh, Clark is ecstatically happy that Dick's alive. And we get kind of a recap of what's been happening with Superman and what's been going on <clears throat> with Batman and Dick, um, Dick Grayson. Uh, so we get the whole depowered, we get the whole Bruce getting amnesia, and then Grace and uh, Dick uh, working with Spiral. Now, as they're ha recapping and having a good time, they get targeted by a group of gangsters whose name completely leaves my mind, but personally I'll forget this anyway regardless. <clears throat> and it's a gang that actually creates points and they're aiming for Clark and... Dick. And Dick, they don't know it's Dick Grayson, so he's just an age in a spiral. <clears throat> so while they're fighting these guys and trying to stop them, um, they get caught up. They get civilians caught up in the middle of it, so they kind of take the, the fight away. And then we find out that that gang has Blockbuster, and they're actually using uh, Super Juice to kind of get superpowers for a temporary amount of time. Um, remember now, Clark's depowered. Um, Dick is only human. And um, I like the moment where Dick actually was talking with Clark. They, they actually find a, um, a safe room or a safe house that Bruce made that are scattered all throughout the city. And Dick explains to Clark again why he chose the name Nightwing. And <clears throat> if you read all the way back to um, <clears throat> Tales of the New Teen Titans when he uh, becomes Nightwing, I don't know if it's mentioned in this issue. I'll have to go back and check it out later. But uh, Dick ends up picking the name Nightwing because it is a god from Krypton, or a guardian from Krypton. <clears throat> and he always felt that he connected best with it, <clears throat> so that's why he chose the title. And Clark was very honored that um, Dick chose Nightwing, and he said, I hope one day maybe um, you'll be able to do that again. But towards the end of the book, uh, I'm not going to say how, I will say that uh, Lex Luthor was involved, and Clark likes that he's involving Lex because... I don't know how Clark thinks all of a sudden the whole world is going to forget or believe that Clark and Superman are two different people again, but um, he wants Lex Luthor to believe that there's a possibility Clark Kent isn't Superman, because Lex thinks Superman is somewhere else out there and Clark's standing in. How? I have no clue with the super leaping and stuff. I mean, maybe you could argue he's taking superhero uh, you know, steroids or whatever. I don't know. It's not steroids, I mean superhero steroids, all one thing together, not just steroids. But anyway, it works because Superman never goes to Lex Luthor for assistance, but Clark did in order to start, stop Blockbuster and, and the gang. And uh, the rest of the book was really nice. It was great artwork, great action, great story, both for Grayson and Superman. It was a really nice, if you're a Superman fan, you're going to want this book. If you're a Grayson fan, you're going to want this book too. It was just an excellent read all around. I'm actually um, debating on if I'm going to get a, um, a, a solo, uh, a physical copy to add to my Superman collection. It was really good. Am I liking what's going on with Superman though? Well, that's for a review that we will be doing or I will be doing <clears throat> very soon. It's part of the group of reviews I have left um, for tonight. So this is definitely a, a annual I would recommend checking out. I really enjoyed it. Out of all the annuals I read this week, this is definitely my top favorite. I did also read uh, Green Lantern, I read Batman, and I did read another one that's completely leaving my mind. Michael, you would remember the annuals. I did 
four. <clears throat> yeah, you did uh you did Batman Annual, Green Lantern Annual number four, and Batman Arkham Knight. Annual Arkham number Knight, one. thank you. Batman Arkham Knight uh, volume one, which was another one I would recommend. So out of the four that I read, I would recommend two and the other two I leave up to you guys. So and if you'd like to see reviews on Batman Arkham uh, Knight Annual One or Green Lantern Annual Four, they're both on Comic Frontline. Uh, one book I recommend, ironically, and the other book I left up to everybody. So with that, that's it for this review, guys. Descriptions are, um, description, I did this again. Links are in the description below to Comic Frontline, Zone 4 Podcast, Frontline Gaming Zone, all three channels or sites that I work on. Links connected to sites connected to this channel right here, Dark Avenger C86. There's a, descri there's a, wow, I'm losing it. I really am losing it. <clears throat> there is a comment box underneath the description box. Feel free to leave comments. Let me know what you guys thought of Grayson Annual number two. I loved it. Artwork was great as well. Let me know what you guys thought. And until next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting. And I will see you guys really soon in the next review.